Right lads, I'm everything League of Ireland, and um, yeah, this wasn't a fun one. Dundalk versus Pats in Oreo Park. This fixture has a bit of an interesting history. I've seen it called a railway derby once or twice just because there used to be a train link that used to run between the two towns. However, I haven't heard that name being used very often. Dundalk's most successful period also coincided with one of Pat's worst periods. However, Pat's had started to get the edge over Dundalk in recent years. Not this time. Starting off with a short trip to Inchicore, I met up with the lads on the bus for the two hour trip to Dundalk. Some crack on the bus down, few songs, few cans, the usual stuff you'd expect. The bus did take us a mad way, however we did get to Oriel Park just as the game kicked off and I kind of almost wish we didn't get to Oriel Park. You know it's going to be a bad game when from the first minute it doesn't look like your side is in the game at all. At this point to be proven when in the fifth minute Pat Hooban would score a header courtesy of a free kick and it wasn't long after when another goal would arrive in similar fashion. Pats would attack for the arse end of the first half however nothing would materialise. At half time I would make a rush to get Grub only to realise it's a uh, it was cash only bollocks. But here's a video of the iconic Oriel Park warehouse. The second half was a painful one. Goals in the 51st and 53rd minute would all but kill the game for Pats. Not that they exactly looked in the game anywhere before that point. The performance overall was pretty brutal. The defence was all over the place, the keeper was full of mistakes and the subs that were brought on failed to make an impact. We would concede a fifth late on in the game, matching a similar result back in Oriel Park in 2018 and with that it was game over. I do have to commend Dundalk, they played very well. Pat Hooban would prove he's still an exceptional striker, Shepard would make every save look easy even though he didn't have many to deal with and new low needs Tulloch looked exceptional on the wing. Not to have a jab, but I was a bit disappointed in the home fans. I remember them being a lot louder the last time I was in Oriel Park. Not that any of them really care about my opinion, they had an absolute field day. But after that, it was time for a long, depressing bus ride home, made even worse by the traffic. The only saving grace of the night was I went to four star afterwards and bought two cookies, only to open the box and find out I was given four, so. Yeah, with that, another vlog ends. Join me next time as I head to Tallah Stadium for Shamrock Rovers versus Cork City.